boys and girls and welcome to our next STEM lesson of the term. Thank you so much to those people who've been tuning in and sending me their work so I can see that you're participating in these lessons at home. Please remember that what we do each week is going to build on the lesson we've had last week. So if you have missed a session, please make sure you go back and watch the video and complete the short activity. Okay, they are all very important. So last week you had to think about the way that your household or your physical house um, impacts on the earth. So we're going to expand on that idea this week, thinking about our wider community. So thinking about either the suburb you live in or even just the city of Logan. Thinking about the ways and the things that we could be doing that may have had an impact on our planet earth. We are going to start this lesson by using our pencil and our piece of paper that we've gotten out for this lesson. And on one side of that, we're going to come up with a bit of a mind map and a brainstorm of all the different things. Thinking back to the small scale egg experiment that we did last week, to a much larger scale of things like pollution and local rubbish issues and things like that. Include all the different ideas of you, that you can come up with that have potentially impacted the earth in your local community. So you can either pause the video now and complete that activity and simply play, press play to resume watching afterwards, or you can save that activity until you finish watching the video and just keep going on and complete it at the end. Once you've completed that mind map and that brainstorm, however, we're gonna start our first design challenge of the term for our design technologies unit. And today, you're going to come up with an invention and design a product that would help undo, or at least lessen the impact of one of the things you've identified in your brainstorm mind map. It is completely up to you which one you choose. Um, perhaps I would suggest circling the one you choose so that I know which one you're looking at when you eventually get that work to me. So on the other side of that piece of paper, your job today is to draw a diagram of your invention. What is it going to look like? And have a think about what exactly do you want it to do? Once you've finished drawing it, please make sure you list the different parts and label your diagram because it's going to be important that when you come back to it next week, and you will come back to it next week, that you know exactly what you were thinking at the time and what you had planned. Once you have finished drawing up your diagram and labeling your parts, down the side of that same piece of paper, you're going to think about the recycled materials you could be using from home to construct a prototype or a model of that product, because that's what we're gonna be doing in our next lesson. So as a little bit of homework between now and our lesson next week, you're going to need to slowly collect those recycled parts. If we're using recycled things from our own um, rubbish at home, such as empty cardboard boxes or milk cartons or egg cartons, then we are already doing our part to lessen our impact on the environment by making use of those products that might normally go in the bin. So you need to have an idea of what things you need to use so that during the week you can remind your family or whoever in your household takes out the rubbish that you need to keep some of those things and put them in a safe space because when we come back together next week, you're going to be using your diagram to build that prototype. So, thank you so much for tuning into this week's activity. Make sure you are completing that. Make sure you are remembering to grab those things, although you're going to have a challenging lesson next week. And I thank you again. I can't wait to see you guys when you're all back at school, and I can't wait to see the amazing work you are doing. Please remember at any point you are able to take photos of things you're doing and email me via my email on the OneNote, or you can even drop files under your tab in the STEM responses to show me what you're doing. I've already seen some responses from some of the students both at school and at home who are completing the lessons, and I've been very impressed and I can't wait to see more. Thank you guys, bye.